Today, I'm really going to shake some things up by calling out some subpar realtor practices in our industry. In my decades of experience, just like in other professions, there have always been realtors with less than stellar practices out there. With the changes due to the pandemic and this raging seller's market, we've seen some shocking choices that have not only put realtors at risk, but more importantly, their clients at risk. So let's get dirty. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting dirty. Things that make you go, hmm. Let's start with liability. When a very hot market slows down, the industry tends to see an uptick in lawsuits. Two big areas, neglect and lack of disclosure. So many sellers and their agents are not providing a full set of inspections on the home. The liability, the agents are also requesting, even demanding at times, that a buyer needs to remove all their contingencies to get an offer accepted without allowing further inspections. The worst part, some buyer's agents are letting them. Six months from now, a roof leaks bound that's been there for quite some time. Guess what happens next? The other item that's truly important for the seller, maximizing their sales price and profit. So how is this handled subpar by some agents? Number one, no communication with buyer's agents. Calls are made, information's requested, and several agents are too busy with all the traffic on the home to even return correspondence. Educated offers are the strongest and best offers for all parties. Blind offers lead many things to just chance. How can you be too busy to do the job you were hired to do? Number two, negotiations. By the way, those start with communication. So what weakness is exposed here? Example, there's 20 offers on a home and the agent and seller accept one without countering or contacting any of the others. How many people really offer their absolute best walk away price the first time? An extra day's work for an agent can equate to at least tens of thousands of dollars for the clients. And the last thing I'm exposing today just list the home really low and let the market push the price up. While it can be a pricing strategy, let's just simply file that under realtor laziness. I just stare at my desk, but it looks like I'm working. I do that for uh, probably another hour after lunch too. I'd say in a given week, I probably only do about 15 minutes of real actual work. I'm calling my industry out. As realtors, the very first form signed with the client is about fiduciary duty, meaning the utmost care, integrity, honesty, and loyalty in dealings with their client. Shouldn't that form carry some weight? Again, I'm Keith Walker, and I'm here to educate and navigate, not speculate and fabricate. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up, throw some comments my way, especially on this topic, or Follow me on YouTube. Thank you.